Good evening, Grey Hornet WJ. Looking nice and clean and fresh. But there's just one problem. All these lights are looking pretty dingy. Pretty yellow and pretty old. So, let's do something about it. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm out here with my new to me Jeep WJ. I got everything dialed in just the way I like it. It's been driving great and looking good. Looking great, actually, I don't know. I love it, hope you guys like it too. But uh, the inside, at night, is pretty dim and dingy. It's got the factory bulbs. Those factory OEM bulbs are probably 20 years old, goodness gracious. They're just uh, yellow and dingy and I, I wanted to get something crisper, something brighter, something a little on the whiter scale. So I reached out to the guys at Oxito and they sent me some LED bulbs. There we go, getting that sunlight. So I got a couple different styles here. We're gonna put these in, let me show you what I got. First thing we got are the 39 millimeters. They're 39 and 42 millimeters. There we go, yep, 39 and 42. These usually go above your head in the uh, cargo space and above the doors. It's uh, it's like a half dome. They will light uh, on the little arched part down there and the top is flat. You don't need to light the actual metal of the car. So that's cool. And then the second bulbs we need are the 194s. These are your standard bulbs. They fit in just about everything. I think this is a 10 pack. It's hard to tell because the packaging is in the way. But yeah, should be a 10 pack of bulbs. Both these are nice, bright white in color. So let's open these up and get them in. All right, wait until daytime to put them in. <laughs> and obviously you can't see that they're lit right now, but this is what I'm looking for. Right next to the body control module, there it is. This little dome holds in the 194. Actually, these are like bigger than 194s, but they fit. But you pop down this little cover right here, and you gotta pull out the bulbs. They're hot, so ah, make sure they're not on for a long time. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, yeah. There is the bulbs we're replacing. And uh, yeah, it's not uh, bad, it's just old. So, uh, I mean, I guess you could just remove these covers and make it a little brighter, but. Uh, I think I just. Yeah. I just had an idea. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just go in with the LEDs. We'll stick to the regular scheduled program. All right. Open this. There we go. Oh, oh, where do you go? Getting away from me here. All right, here we go. Got this baby open. We got ten bulbs here. We got a six pack plus a four pack. <laughs> it's a ten pack in one whole pack. That's interesting. I guess this is a bulb puller. Man, I should have opened the package before I went and burnt my fingers. Oh, that disappeared. Never mind. We'll uh, fish that out later. But here we go. Let's pop out one of these bad boys. Nice. LED is all around the side. And we got about six on the top. That's a pretty intricate design. Let's, uh, let's take a look up here and find out where it goes. All right. This right here, that's the brake pedal. So directly above the brake pedal is the socket for the lights. Plug it in. Ooh, that's pretty. I put this cap back on. There you have it. That's the first bulb, easy peasy. All right, in the two minutes it took me to put in the first bulb, I'm sure this bulb got really hot. So I just locked the doors and let this sit for a while so I don't burn myself on the second bulb. Where is it? There it is right here. Oh yeah, she's hot, even after letting it sit. So, yeah. Let me see if I can pry it out with this tool they gave me. Hey, that's awesome. That thing is piping hot. Wow. And you know guys, another thing is uh, the heat that these bulbs put out, that's electricity that's coming out of your battery. So the LEDs don't use as much juice, so it's more forgiving if you leave a light on in your car. Uh, it won't drain the battery as much. So we'll take another bulb from our free gift. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys over at Oxido. I really appreciate it. 
And uh, the funny thing is about Christmas, you know, we tell our kids to be uh, good, right? And not naughty, so they're on the good list for Christmas. But that's not really a free gift. You know, they have to earn it. So, you know what? While I got this, let me show you something real cool here. Check this out, guys. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God proves his own love for us and that while we're still sinners, Christ died for us. Bam! We are not even on the good list, and we still get a gift of Christmas in the form of Jesus. That is the ultimate free gift. Merry Christmas, guys. And what's also really cool about these bulbs is they're not like any other LEDs that's got polarity. These don't have polarity. You could put the positive on the negative or the negative on the positive. They will light up any which way. There we go. Come on, baby. Get in there. All right, we got both floor bulbs in, and now we're going to move on to these bulbs on the door. Some of you may not have these, but if you do, let's change them. All right, to change the door panel bulbs, you actually have to take off the door panel. I'm just going to do this here for demonstration purposes. I want to show you guys something. Oh, <laughs> there she goes. That was a distance record. See, these bulbs in here, you can't just pull them out. Uh, the bulb and the socket is a one-piece unit. So, I just wanted to show you this. we got to take off the door panel. Now, once we get back in here behind the panel, all you got to do is twist and pull. The bulb and socket come right out together. There we go, the bulb is out, and uh, we're gonna have to make ourselves a new custom bulb in base now. So I've got some spare wire here. I'm just gonna strip a little bit off. Actually, I'm gonna strip a lot of it off. All right, I fold a nice four inch piece of wire in half after I stripped it. I'm gonna keep the loop end out and I'm just gonna push it right through one of those holes I just made. Bend it out at the bottom. Keep this end up and I'll do one more on the other side. All right, now we got the wire stuffed in there. We're gonna go ahead and shove this bulb right down in pinch in the copper wires on either side it's going to be tight but we want to make good contact we got her in there the bull smushed our little copper wires out you go ahead and bend these wires nice flat and flush against that little prong in there see that prong if these wires are touching it we should make contact. Let's test it out, shall we? All right, got my power supply. All right, it's lit when we touch these, but we wanna make sure it lights when we touch these little prongs. These prongs is where the power comes from in the Jeep. Oh yeah, there we go. It worked. All right, uh, we could get this in the Jeep. If you want, you could always put a little dab of solder right where the prongs meet the wires. That might be a good idea. Um, I'm gonna snip these to size, and uh, you know what, maybe I'll do a little bit of solder, just in case. There, snip short. I'm gonna go ahead and just mush these in a little bit more, and no solder needed. All right, let's go ahead and lock our new bulb in place. Put it in and twist. And now I had this door open the whole time we were making our new uh, special socket and bulb combo. So either the battery is dead or the BCM timed it out. Let's see, lock, unlock. Hey, there we go. Let's go ahead and pop on our cover. 
Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'm excited for that. It is daylight still, and you can see how bright that shines. Nice and crisp. All right, time to take off the driver door panel. Yeah. All right, if you broke any fasteners like I did, I'll leave a link to some more in the description and also uh, a nice little puller too, so yeah. All right, doors are hooked up. Beautiful. Moving right along, we got our next two bulbs to be replaced. These courtesy lights inside. We got one and we got two here. So allow me to show you guys two different ways to take out these bulbs. Now the first way is a little more risky considering these lenses are 20 years old and brittle. But what you could do is you could get a pick from the back where this little groove is, not the front, that's a tab, you'll snap that off. But there's a groove in here, you get your pick in, and you gotta pry to get these little round little clips off. Now, uh, I'd hate for you guys to break these. They're a little, a little tough, but there. If you do it gently enough, you could expose these little tabs. Uh, this is what could break, either the tabs or the plastic piece here. So uh, that's one way to do it. Um, yeah, let's let's replace the bulb while we're at it before uh, I show you the other side. Yeah. Just flick this out. There we go. I'll go ahead and open up these bulbs, my long bulbs. Well, these are wrapped very well. Come on, my little oxito. You could do it. So here we go. We got our flat side here, and then we have our diode side here. Obviously, we're going to go with the diode side facing us. So we're just going to pop this in place. So there we go. Power is on. And <laughs> Let's see. Let's test it, by the way. Uh, I do not believe there's polarity with these either. <laughs> there's not. That's pretty cool. So you can put it in any which way you want. Just clip these little springs into the clips. <laughs> clip the clips. What a concept. We'll make sure all the diodes are facing us. And here we go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Working. So now we want to make sure we put our lens back in and clip them onto these little nubs gently without breaking them. Here's our lens. Got to wipe off any crusty bug guts that might be on it. <laughs> Here's a little tab. We want to insert this tab by the switch. Go ahead and do that now. Come on, tab. And then we'll lay these little clips right into those little nubs and gently push, gently but firmly. There we go, one and two. They didn't break. That is lovely. Let's test it out. Hey, there we go. Cool. All right, next one. Here is our second method. It's a little more annoying, but it's a lot safer for the parts of the vehicle. T20, here we go. Just gonna back them out right here. We're gonna take out this whole handle. The whole, oh, Shiza handle. There we go. And we're gonna employ our little pick once again. Let's flick out the bulb. There we go. Insert the new bulb. Test the new bulb. All right. Whoa, trippy. And we'll just put back on our handle. When you're putting the screws back in, the T20 fasteners, just make sure those tips go right into those round holes. Come on, focus. There we go. Line them up nice and neat on both sides, and they should zip right in. Don't over tighten.
There we go. Let's test it. Nice. Man, they really shoot on with a surge. Is that the camera or is that just me? Bam! <laughs> Brightness. Crisp lighting. Love it. All right, you guessed it. The cargo light. We got the same thing going on with this light. We want to be really careful not to break those little tabs. They are weak. There we go. It comes out with the front side first, then the rear. We'll go ahead and remove this dingy old bulb. Now, of course, we could put it in our Oxito bulb. Oxito. Look at that. That would be nice and bright, but I think I'm gonna upgrade even more from this. I also have a full honeycomb LED light for maximum utility brightness. You guys remember this thing? <laughs> it's a grid light. I bought a pair for Beach Jeep. I just found the other one. Let's go see if this works on here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Hey, that wow, that's bright. <laughs> All right, this thing's a little sloppy. It's on uh, a little springy thingy. I guess it could make it fit uh, little ones all the way to big ones. But let me get two hands up in here and I will go ahead and attach this properly. All right, I just pinched these in together a little more, made it tighter, and then these prongs slid right in. That is on and bright. I'm uh, blinded right now. But I got a little double-sided tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this tape right here. Oh, that's very sticky. Get it right there on the little connector itself. And then uh, let's see if I can stick this bulb on. Oh, it's so bright. Stick that right on there. Hope it stays because uh, I don't want it just dangling. Put this cover back on. Oh man, that grid light is bright. One, two, grid light. All right, let's see. Unlock. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's bright. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's not even dark time yet, and uh, we got a heck of a lot of light coming off this baby. All right, let's lock it. Let's see how it fades out. Nice. Sort of dimmable too. All right, last thing we gotta do is, hello, Evic. Let's get a good look at these dingy yellows compared to that nice bright white. And that's the last time you're gonna see dinginess in this Jeep. So let's go take our Phillips head screw out of here. Now, once this thing is down, these bulbs are, they're just clipped in. Apply a little sideways pressure, comes right out, and then that, boink, <laughs> that works. Hey, come on now. Uh oh, we might have a dud here. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Oxito! Mi bambino! Que pasa? Try take two for this one. There, huh? Wow. Well, so far my perfect review just went down a notch. I'm gonna bring this to uh, to the bench for testing. Make sure it's not user error. Uh, let's go ahead and push these into the socket. Oh, they're not gonna fit. Oh, come on. That light ring is too bright. Hey, look at that. These 194s are polarized up on these switches. How about that? So it is my fault and not the bulb's fault. So 
So let me orient this bulb in a position that it is going to be inserted into the socket. And then I'll insert the socket. Here we go. There. All right. User error. I'm so sorry, Oxito. Me and more. My bad. Go ahead and clip this back in. Let's go zip this in place. All right. Interior is <laughs> illuminated. All right. Hey, I got to give you a quote. Uh, <laughs> you taught me everything I know about exterior illumination. <laughs> So I'm going to teach you everything about Jeep interior illumination. All right. There it is. Everything nice, bright, and crispy white. Look at that. Maybe another day we'll go ahead and do the interior gauge lights. Uh, let's see what I have here. I do actually have... Oh, that's right here. Uh, I got myself a climate control unit. This has a tiny, tiny little crack here. Uh, most of them cracked there. I guess that's where people, uh, they accidentally punch this thing trying to go for this dial. Let me see if I can switch it out and make this thing whole, but this is where you want to change your bulbs at. Now, if you want to convert the gauges to LED, you'll just have to take out these bulbs like this. They are socket and bulb combo as well, so we're going to have to rig something up like we did for the doors. It's a, it's a one-piece unit. Um... Still doesn't mean we can't modify it. Let's go ahead and put this back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. So that is for the illumination. If you want buttons with LEDs, that would be these right here. These are more little wedge bulbs. But uh, yeah, maybe one day we'll go ahead and do a video on this. But uh, that's going to do it for these. Yay. I'm just going to test this bulb in question real quick. <laughs> yep, the bulb works. Guess it was just me that's broken. Oh, I got some extra. I'm going to find a place to use them. That's a good idea. All right, here we go. It is now dark, so... Let's take a look at what we got inside here. Here we go. <laughs> Holy moly. It is bright in here. Wow. Oh my goodness. It might be night outside the vehicle, but it sure looks like day in here. Holy smokes. That is amazing. Wow. What a difference. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can see every crumb. <laughs> I gotta go back in this Jeep now. Oh my word. Wow. It is extremely bright in the cargo area. Holy smokes. That is good. Wow. I love it. I can see again. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the plate lights. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh yeah. There is some exterior illumination. Wow. Looking good. That's awesome. Wow guys. It is great in here. I love it. It's nice and bright. No more dingy factory lights. We got hooked up. Thank you, Oxido. I really appreciate the free gift. This is wonderful. Hey, tis the season. We got a free gift from God. We got a savior this time of year. So don't forget that is the reason for the season. We got uh, Jesus Christ was born. God made into flesh and he was a sacrifice for us. So even though we are on the naughty list, we can still, uh, we can still make it out all right. But that is awesome, guys. Look at that. I love these lights. This is great. So I will leave a link in the description to all of these lights. I'll get you the exact same bulbs that I'm rocking here. I'll also leave a link to all those little tools that I use to do the job. It's going to be it, guys. Wow. I love it. So that's it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next project. Merry Christmas. Peace on Earth. Later.